If you are a regular FaceTime user and you like to use the SharePlay feature on the iPhone, I have some exciting news for you when it comes to the Mac. As with macOS 12.1, we get a little glimpse of hope as to how this feature is going to be working. Let me show you what I mean. What's up guys, welcome back to Huffman Up Tech. My name is Ben, your host. So finally, when it comes to Mac OS 12 Monterey, we now have the next point update and it's 12.1 developer beta one that I'm talking about today. It's available to developers and probably at the time you're watching this video, also to public beta testers. So as you can see for me here on my MacBook Pro, I'm updating from Mac OS 12.0.1, the official or final release and you can see the update size that it came in for me at exactly 2.14 gigs and this update basically took about a minute to download and about 11 minutes to prepare the ipsw file and the full installer are also available so if you are interested in those you can always find them on apple's website now i've already updated my mark that you are seeing here and if we go to the about this mark section you can see the new build number that we have and it's 21 c 5021h so this build that we have with mac os monterey 12.1 beta 1 ends with an h and in terms of stability it's not the worst but it's also not the greatest so i wouldn't really advise you update to this unless you're willing at some point to reset your mac and if we go to where it says storage and go to manage we want to see how much system or mac os storage is taking and as you can see mac os or system storage is taking up 16.9 gigs before this it was taking up 16.86 gigs so it has increased by a few megabytes now when it comes to new features and changes i want to show you the first one that has to do with facetime and SharePlay. so let me hop over onto facetime so here i'm just about to start a facetime to myself what's up guys this is me in the background so if i click facetime right there you can see that you know it initiates and you can see my video right here so this is how my facetime is looking at this present moment it's quite okay but you can see here that when it comes to mac os 12.1 they've actually added the share play feature like what we had before with some previous beta versions of mac os 12 so as you can see here if i click on this share play feature it's now functional and if you look right in the top corner of my mac right there we now have like this facetime icon that pops up and you can see that if you have others that are waiting to join they can always you can always let them in from here or uh, what i notice is that they pop up through the widget section of the notification center of your device but if we go again and click on the facetime here and click on this share play icon that you're seeing here you can see when i click on it it gives us like two options so choose window or screen to share so if you have like multiple windows on your screen that you would like to share then you can always share those windows here on this share play feature or the second option that you're seeing here it actually says you can share your screen this is the one i believe most people are going to use and what this does it just shares the whole contents of the screen and you can see here that i can actually like mute my uh voice and also i can like turn off my video or turn it on now something that's a little bit interesting that you might want to note or heed is that here it says notifications will be turned off while sharing your screen so in a sense you are in some type of do not disturb and also here it says that all system sounds will be shared so 
by default unlike zoom where you have to check the option where you want to share your sound here you in it automatically says that all system sounds will be shared so be careful what you play when you are doing this uh, screen sharing on FaceTime so I want to go ahead and click where it says window and you can see when I click here automatically it makes my video window a little bit small and you can see if I hover over like a window like this is the messages it it gives me the option to be able to share this window here if you have multiple things that are open or multiple tabs that are open and you hover over the window you'll be able to get this option that says share this window and you'll be able to share that window also something that i want to show you here if i go to share screen you can see that if you have like two screens like uh, your mark and perhaps a secondary monitor elsewhere you can always go and select that window and you can see here that it says share this window so if i was to click here it says currently shared screen and for some reason my video quality just went otherwise but you can see that i'm sharing this this screen rather so basically in brief this is how share play is going to be working on facetime as you can see a lot of things still need to be put in place and if i actually say stop sharing you can see that my video comes back and it's synchronized and let me try and share a window and see how bad my video goes so i'm sharing this window and again the same thing well it's not as worse as sharing this uh, screen you can see the window is a little bit better so let me also say stop sharing window and yeah basically in brief this is how like share play is going to be working on facetime i'm very curious to see if i open a media application like the apple music app or apple tv whether it's going to prompt me or give me the ability to be able to share but as you can see nothing actually pops up so I'm, I'm not sure why this is so but you can see that this is still like in testing a lot needs to go a lot of work still needs to be put in in order to finalize this share play on the mac i did download the share play beta profile from the apple developer beta site so if you want me to provide you this profile then let me know in the comment section below and i'll give you a link to be able to see this if it's not yet available to the public and also another change that's here with this mac os 12.1 is an update to the safari version and they actually updated quite a number of decimals so if you open your safari and actually go to where it says safari and go to about safari you can see that the version has been updated so version it's 15.1 like we had before but the build number is the one that has been updated in 17612.3.2.1.1 and coming from mac os 12.0.1 the build that we had was 15.1 as the version and the build was 17.612.2.9.1.1 two zero so you can see that we have about three points that have four points rather that have been updated when it comes to safari so most of these have to do with bugs and issues that are being washed out we are yet to know what this is but as we go through this update i'm sure with time we'll be able to find out more if you go to the release notes that came with this update you can see that if you click away it says release notes for me i'm getting this bug with where it brings me up to this screen here but there's something that was mentioned where you can use graphics that integrate the amd radeon 6600 xt gpu so that is something good for those that use that uh, graphics card and basically other than that this in brief is how mac os 12.1 beta 1 has been for me i know it's it's a quick release because the final release was just on monday and on thursday we have a 12.1 but i really think that this is the update that's going to bring about most of the sort out features like share play and universal control when this comes out to the public now i'm going to be testing it throughout the beta stages until it's a official release so if that's something that you're interested in too and you want to keep up to date then a sub to the channel would be great stay safe and i'll see you in the next video